Okay, uh, so now we continue with an exercise. Okay, uh, this is a example of past year question. Okay, uh, so biasanya exercise saya akan bagi dalam bentuk uh, collection of uh, past year. So it means that nanti bila um, last semester nanti, uh, so awak akan ada uh, satu set untuk soalan dan jawapan uh, past year. Okay, so now uh, let we discuss for June 2018. Okay, uh, so biasanya kalau soalan chapter 1, uh, kebiasaannya dibagi dalam bentuk true, false or table. Okay, uh, first uh, complete the following table. Okay, uh, they are given you three uh, differential equation and then you need to state order, degree, dependent variable and not, uh, linear or non-linear. Okay, let we discuss for... Uh, differential equation 1 ok the order order uh, saya dah terangkan sebelum ni maksud order adalah highest derivative ok so if you can see here this one the highest derivative is second derivative so it means that your order is 2 ok now degree degree kita ambil kuasa yang highest derivative so since uh, the highest derivative uh, this one Okay, so second derivative. So, your degree is 1 because dia cuma kuasa 1. Okay, dependent variable. Dependent variable, ingat kita ambil function yang bahagian atas. So, this one is y and linear or non-linear. Kalau awak tengok balik, compare dengan uh, general form of linear equation. So, your answer is Linear. Sebab apa awak check balik function kat sini independent x. So, depan ni x. This one just dy dx and kat sini sign x which is function x. Okay. So, linear differential equation. Okay. Next equation. 2y4 minus t6y double prime minus 4y square equals to 3 cos T. Okay, maksudnya kat sini, bila dia letak dalam bentuk prime notation, kadang-kadang kita susah nak uh, tengok untuk prime notation. Okay, so kita boleh letakkan dalam bentuk Leibniz notation which is 2 minus T6 Okay, so now kita letakkan dalam bentuk Leibniz notation. Okay, saya nak terangkan satu lagi. Apa beza kat sini, kalau awak tengok kat sini 2y dalam bracket 4. Tapi kat sini 4y square. Okay, apa beza bila dia ada bracket dengan tak ada bracket? Tak ada bracket, uh, bila ada bracket, dia melambangkan uh, derivatif. Maksudnya berapa kali kita bezakan. So, kalau y and then dalam bracket 4, it means that it is equals to d4y dx4. Bukan y kuasa 4. Tapi kalau yang ni 4y square, maksudnya adalah y square. Maknanya uh, y tu kuasa 2. Bukan second derivative. Sebab kat sini dia dah ada y double prime. So it means that this one d square y d, uh, d. Sorry. Kat sini saya tersilap eh. Kat sini bukan x tapi t. Ha, sebab kita biasa guna dy dx. Okay. Why I put t here? Because if you can see here this one is 3 cos t. This one is t power of 6. Ha, maksudnya uh, sekarang ni Untuk independent variable dia adalah T bukan S. So, uh, based on question, question dia tak semestinya guna dy dx. So, dia akan guna macam-macam uh, jenis function. Okay, so dalam soalan ni sebenarnya adalah dy dt. Okay, so now... Uh, we can write as your order is 4 because order adalah highest derivative. This one y4 ataupun kat sini 4. Okay, what uh, the degree of this differential equation? Degree dia memang d4y dt4 ni dia memang tak ada kuasa apa-apa. So, it means that your degree just 1. Okay, then dependent variable. Dependent variable bahagian atas. So, your dependent variable is also y. Okay, independent t. Okay, linear or non-linear, this one, your answer is non-linear. Okay, why I 
I put here non-linear because if you can see here, this one, you have y square. Okay, dia tak boleh kalau bila awak differentiate y, dia kena y dy dx, d square y dx square. Okay, so dia tak boleh y square. So, this one is non-linear differential equation. Okay, then last one. Okay, last one. Uh, Order. Order, okay, awak pilih yang highest derivative. You, if you can see here, the highest derivative is second derivative. So, your order is 2. Okay, and then your degree. Degree adalah kuasa uh, kuasa untuk highest derivative. So, since dia adalah uh, second derivative, kat sini awak tengok. Walaupun ada kuasa 3 dan 4, so we choose power of 3. So, your degree is 3. Dependent variable, dependent bahagian atas, so Q, linear or non-linear, the answer is non-linear. Okay, non-linear sebab apa? Bila awak tengok function ni, dia ada kuasa selain daripada satu, dia automatic non-linear. So, apa awak dah biasa gunakan? Bila linear equation, dia cuma semua function dia kuasa satu. Ha, kalau awak ingat balik dalam uh, basic calculus, kalau kuasa 2, kita panggil dia kuadratik. Kalau kuasa 3, kita panggil dia cubic. Kalau kuasa 1, kita panggil dia linear. So, kalau awak tengok dalam function ni, ada kuasa 3, ada kuasa 4. So, dia adalah non-linear differential equation. Okay, so now awak boleh softkan untuk semua uh, soalan untuk pasir question and then nanti kita discuss.